Okay, we're here with with Heather. We're going to be talking about chip kits today. Okay. Okay, so at your school, you should have four different types of kits that also would have a teacher guide for each one of those kits. Okay. Now, not every teacher will have every kit. And that is for reasons due to the fact that they only belong to certain learners. So what we did is we made sure that each grade level has the kit that helps their stu students learn best. Okay. One of the things about the kits is that they are meant to be small group. They are not supposed to be whole group. I'm gonna get to a part that shows you kind of what it looks like. And so it definitely guides you through everything. It tells you what mats you need to have, tells you what picture cards you will need. If you'll need any shapes, which if you look up here, these are the shapes that they're talking about. Only the phonemic awareness ones have these picture cards and these also. Um, it then tells you what words you're going to be working with. One syllable, two syllables, three syllables. A lot of teachers are using this word list as their new spelling list, but we don't call that anymore spelling list. We call it word work list. And this is where they're making their lists from. Okay. And so when they go to teach the word list for the week, they come here and get the chip kit ready to teach the lesson. Makes it sense. has an I do, it has a we do, and it has a you do. So the one that I'm showing you right now is for phonemic awareness. Okay. So when you give the passy, this is where it will guide you Two is a phonemic awareness lesson. But again, this is one that is done in small groups. There is a, yeah. About how many, how many kids in a small group? Um, Piece-wise, that's a good question. I wouldn't go above four. So now we've moved into the basic phonics chip kit. This is a different book than the basic phonics lesson book um, that goes along with the phon phon phonological library, the it's PLL. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, anyways, and so this is for the basic, and I wanted to read this paragraph because, well, a couple sentences. Um, it says that the purpose of this kit is to help teachers direct students' attention to identifying individual phonemes. But what I love, my favorite part is over here, down here. So one of the key benefits of using this chip kit is that students will fluently recognize the phonics pattern and therefore be guided to the proper pronunciation of the vowel in the syllable or word. So basically, this is what spelling or word work is. It's so that you recognize the different phonics patterns. So this is only meant for small grouping. Um, it actually, if you read on, it talks about how it was meant to work with small groups of students who need help in mastering phonics patterns, which is perfect. So now you have something to use for when you want to do word work. When you open it up to a lesson, it has the I do, it has the we do, and then it has the you do. It also ha comes with the mat that you need to have, the different sound chips that you will need for the lesson, and then some of the chips have a letter on them, so obviously you're gonna need the letter O because you'll be teaching short O. And this is the part that I think was not explained well enough. Every one of these books has a word list. So if you have been making up your own spelling list or word lists, because Nat Geo isn't 
appropriate or it's too hard, you actually do have lists. This is the list. There are a lot of words. I know some of you are using high frequency dolch words. So maybe this could be a skill that you teach for the week with five difficult words, memorization words. So this kit is not supposed to te memorize. It is actually for the sounds that are in our English language. And so, and they go along with the phonics library lessons. So you could have differentiated le spelling lists if you wanted, word work lists, or you could just be focusing on the different vowels. And again, this is in small group, but it doesn't mean you can't translate it to your whole group class, especially these word lists. Okay. And there is um, a kit. So this kit is for the basic, and I forgot to show you, but each one of these little areas actually are labeled. So, and what they did when we sorted these and made these, the teacher ones that are usually magnetic, and they're located at the bottom of the chip kit, and everything above that bottom row is all for the kidlets. So if I was doing short vowel, I could go here to find it, and then I would go here to find what I needed. So it's pretty awesome that way. So and then, teacher chips. Uh-huh, and then kid chips. Okay. And then just so that you're aware, there is a basic and an advanced kit. So it's the same thing. It's labeled also. This one isn't, but that's okay. <laughs> they mostly, everyone that you have are. And again, this would be the teacher call or row. And then everything else is student rows. And again, use the PSI to help you know where you should begin. And the last one is for multi-syllable words. So if you haven't understood this program quite yet, lessons one through, I think it's nine, Yes, through nine are all basic CVC with some blends added in and digraphs. Starting on lesson 10, they start over again. So they'll start with consonant, vowel, consonant words, but they will be put into compound words, so into multisyllabic words. So if your child is still struggling with short vowel words, here you go. You can. You don't have to go all the way back to lesson two. You can actually start here or lesson three, skill three. So this is everything for that one also. And the multisyllabic is slightly different, but it still has the teacher ones and it still has the student ones. This one is labeled. Looks like it's missing some. I borrowed from special ed, so. And you can see actually the magnet, magnet is really easy to see on the back of that one. And that's obviously, that's for silent E words. So anyways, these are awesome. And if you are lost at what you should be doing for spelling or word work time, you have it. You have it. And it wouldn't hurt, honestly, for all your kids to rotate through this, honestly, especially the multisyllabic for the upper grades. Thank you. You were welcome.